right, we uh, have another episode of This Just In, and as always, I am joined by the Frank McKenna. Frank, how are you? Frank McKenna. Thank you. I'm uh, doing great. Not to be uh, confused with the Ohio State University, right? <laughs> but today we're going to talk about fake employers, Frank. Some of our favorite topics we here at Point Predictive have been uh, tracking fictitious employers for a number of years now. Uh, I think we're it's a number about 11,000, a little over. Mm-hmm. 11,000. Heavily tied to credit repair, some even tied to dealerships, but the vast, vast majority of them are completely fictitious or have been dissolved for years. So Mm -hmm. we're going to be talking about one of those today. Yeah, We'll obfuscate the name uh, that we're going to call them Recovery ABC of America today. Mm -hmm. But Recovery ABC, they are a supposed collection agency. Uh, They have no physical address and they have very little, very minimal web presence. The website that they do have, very, very simplistic, right? looks like it's copy and paste from any other website mm-hmm. designs, templates, if you will. And one of my favorite parts about this employer is their contact us page. So the contact us page, when you want to call them and contact them, uh, the only number that they present and display on the website is there. What do you think? The payroll department. Oh, it is. <laughs> right on the money. You want to you wanna call and get in touch with a collection agency to maybe hire them. You call their payroll department. The yeah. only phone number. Right. Uh, so that's, that's, that's the only number they want you to call. Exactly. Exactly. Well, some shocking numbers tied to uh, recovery ABC. 30 lenders. Okay. So we're going to talk 30 lenders impacted. Mm -hmm. 4,127 applications so far. uh, That grows almost every day. $87 million in total loan exposure. Mm -hmm. The charge off rate when they do fund is around 26%. So a little over one in four loans that book using this employer end up charging off. And the majority of these applicants uh, using this employer all have the following fraud characteristics, third party criminal synthetics, first party CPN usage, uh, and a lot of credit washing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you know, those those stats are just what we've seen. Now, I would would just hazard a guess that if you look at all industries tied to that fake employer, I'm just going to say they might be up at a billion dollars. I mean, I'm just going to make a leap. That's seeing that many applications, 4,127 times somebody's Using this, this is a major operation. Major. This is not a small fake. It's just one. We have eleven thousand, and uh, these fake employers are not stopping. It's very easy. You just spin up a new one when one gets shut down. So eighty-seven million dollars tied to just one. Wow, it's just wild. Uh, but it is, like you said, it's a multi-billion-dollar program, um, multi-billion-dollar yeah. problem. So we, like I said, we begun tracking these what December end of 2020. 2020 um, yeah. And since 2017, I was looking at the data today. Since 2017, just a little over five billion dollars tied to those fake employers that we have. Billion with a B. Yeah, so. I don't think people grasp the the level of credit repair fraud that is out there, and these fake employers are are just one component of that. Single. You look at these Instagram ads, and you look at these social media ads. They're always promise pay stubs and VOE. Well, the VOE is often tied to a fake employer such as this one, this uh, recovery ABC that you mentioned. So this is just part of that credit repair. It's driving synthetic identity. Like you said, it's driving, you know, first party fraud in credit washing. And this is just a, an area that we've really focused in on in the, in the consortium because we think it's a major pain point. Agreed. It's lucrative. You can double dip. You get the loan and you can charge verification of employment service. Yep. Not so, cheap. Either. Not, not cheap, but easy. But we're catching them. So it's good. Mm-hmm. All right, Frank. Appreciate it. I will uh, catch you again next week. Yeah. Thanks for the great story. Thank you for joining us on another episode of This Just In. If you'd like to know even more, head on over to pointpredictive.com for the latest fraud insights. Until next time, stay vigilant, stay secure, and stay one step ahead.